Um, yeah, it was a it was a difficult night. I think we started uh, quite poorly. We we were sluggish and sloppy in the first half. I don't think it was anything necessarily that that LA was doing. Um, there there was some compactness, but we started poorly. We lacked uh, energy, intensity, and you know just the technical quality was was really off. It was you know probably one of our poorest performances, poorest halves I've, I can recall in, in some time. So um, second half certainly picked up. We were able to to find some of our spaces and. And obviously create a few more chances, and probably a little unlucky to not get to get something out of that second half. But we started slow, and I think they punished us for that. And you know, good teams can do that. But um, you know, we, we got to bounce back quick. We got you know a road trip coming up, uh, three in a week's uh, starting next weekend. So um, you know, we'll have to start getting prepared, and and, and obviously um, be ready for some difficult matches, difficult difficult opponents. But um, you know, a little slow from the start tonight, and it, and it cost us. But uh, we'll, we'll move on. Yeah. Early goal, obviously. How yeah. much do you feel like that kind of yeah. changed the mood? Uh, and just like, like you said, it was a slow start, but yeah. normally you guys have been able to break yeah, out of that at right. home. That's right. It's a good point. I, you know, again, I, I, I'm, I guess it changed. I mean, we we gave up an early goal in Houston, so again, I don't, I don't know that that unsettled us. It was, it was just, um, again, it was, it was an odd watching us in the first half, first 20 minutes, not connecting passes, the speed, the rhythm of the passing um, just was not crisp for us. And that was unfortunate. And it, it took us a, you know, a little while to get into it. They obviously grabbed a goal, gives them a little bit of confidence and momentum. Um, but, but I don't think that necessarily unsettled us. We just, again, for whatever reason, we, you know, there was a longer delay going out to the game, but I, I can't say that's, you know, that's something that really put us off, but um, we got to be better. We got to be better from the start and, you know, obviously come in with, with a little more speed, crispness, and, and intensity. And then um, John Gallagher starting again mm -hmm. in left back for uh, for yeah. John. Um, was, was John fully healthy this week? Just what's the update there? Z, Z was healthy. He was healthy, but went with, went with Gallagher. What is it about John that you like right now? Um, well, I thought John had a good performance in Houston. I think – I think Kalmanich is, is obviously a very good defender as well. I think those guys have rotated well for us. Um, again, I think Gallagher did, did fine. Uh, I think Z came in, got minutes, and, and gave us you know, a little bit of quality, some service. But um, just choice tonight for, for, for Gallagher. I thought he, he did well, like I said, in, in Houston, knowing they were going to have wingers that were um, you know, different types of wingers, dynamic wingers. And Efrain's a guy that can play, in a, play inside a little more, so he played as a 10. But um, from a physical standpoint, we, we wanted to match some of their speed and physicality. But, but again, I thought he did okay for the night. We, we had a lot of, you know, too many poor performances. So I think that's, you know, that left us wanting a little bit more. Josh, um, I'm sure you've seen or heard about the statements um, by Los Verdes and Austin Anthem uh, insisting that Cecilio Dominguez not play for the club going forward. Do you have any response to those statements? Um, well, I mean, he's been reinstated by the league. Um, he'll join us next week in, in training. And, um, you know, I think, you know, f for us, that my focus is on that. It's, it's, it's getting our team prepared for, again, going on the road. He's, he's going to be a ways away from, from playing in games. I mean, physically, he's got to get up to speed. He's been out for five weeks. So that'll be, um, that'll be the challenge for him going forward in the coming weeks. Um, were you made aware of the 2016 lawsuit accusing him of uh, domestic violence before the club signed him in 2020? I know that lawsuit was eventually dropped. Um, I, I wasn't made aware of it. No. Oh, uh, hey, Josh. Um, so John Gallagher, he was was pushed further forward in the uh, in the second half. Uh, with your wing depth being tested right now, might we see him in advanced positions more often? Um, he certainly could be. I think John, he's you know he's a good winger for us. We've transferred him back to to play as a fullback, but. Um, you know, I think keeping him on there, he's, he's got good, he's, he's one of our fastest guys. So we, we needed the running behind the line. Um, we had Rodney on the other side and that allowed us to push Diego inside to play in the pocket. But, um, again, it's, it was more about the verticality on, on, on the edges. I think, you know, Sebastian was playing down low, our forward was playing down low. So pocket play with Alex and those guys was good. We just, again, running behind the line, but Johnny, I thought did a good job. He comes in and it, he, he gives us that the running behind the line for him was, was, was solid. Um, sorry to go back to a tough sure. subject, but um, regarding the 10-minute silence that the fans initiated, um, any takeaway for that was that felt, or anything you want to comment on that? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it, or I guess hear it. I did. They did talk about it in uh, the coaches, and we've talked about it. And again, I, I appreciate all of our fans' support, and and obviously their interest in our team, and 
um, you know, I, I try to do everything I can to focus on the game and focus on preparing this team, and, and that's kind of you know where I'll go in this direction. It's it, you know we got to focus quickly on Real Salt Lake and and LAFC. These are tough games, so what happens you know in our stands and at our stadium is is, is obviously. Um, you know, you know, important to all of us as, as, as a staff and an organization. But um, you know, tonight the result wasn't good enough, and that's that's where I'm most disappointed. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah I just want to ask about uh, Tarbell and mm -hmm. his first start. Um, obviously, got pulled into the Houston game with yeah. Stuver's injury. So, just how did you feel about him? And then, what is Stuver's uh, timetable for coming back? Um, Brad, we'll just have to see. He was obviously moving around a little bit at training this week, so we'll have to see how he he steps into that space um, in the coming days. Certainly, when we get back on the field Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, Andrew, I thought he did okay. Uh, I'll have to look at some of the shots from distance. Um, you know, some of the distribution was 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 okay, but um, you know, I think on the goal uh, we can have better reactions. I mean, it's 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 30 plus yards. We need some guys stepping to the ball as well. It gets on Andrew in a hurry. Um, so I think there's there's plenty of, of corrections that could have happened there, but um, you know, difficult to take that one. We're a little slow to react again. That that was the the most disappointing part was just a little bit of our intensity and our speed and, and just our um, you know our quality at the beginning in the first half of this game. And then uh, what about Ring? I mean, obviously had some chances, wasn't able to quite finish. Yeah, I mean, I think Ring had a couple chances. Danny had a couple chances. Um, Sebastian had a couple chances. So I thought Diego we struggled to get uh, into his typical form. Um, you know, so we'll have to talk to him a little bit about that. But, you know, he, he's logged some big minutes for us. He's been a key component in the attack. Um, but I thought he was a little st a step off tonight, noticeably for him, for the quality that he usually brings. But I think there were enough chances for us to actually grab a goal. Obviously, they, they had a couple decent half chances as well. And when they get a goal, they, they took a little bit different and deeper posture in the second half but um, I think there's a goal in there for us in the second half our, our execution was better in the second half um, you know the speed of play was a bit better but it just um, you know it can't take it can't take 45 minutes and that's you know what we got punished for tonight uh, as far as the galaxy Josh you feel like they got the best defense in the league and is this a just the first bump in the road, a hiccup, or how do you look at this? Yeah, I think um, you know, I think they're a solid team. I, again, I think it was more about what we, where we lacked and 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 didn't um, you know do what we typically do. And of course, you can always say maybe the opponent contributed to that. But um, you know, I, I saw a sluggish, sloppy first half from us, which was you know out of nowhere for our group by and large. Um, and and again, they're they're a solid team. So give them a, a goal and a little bit of confidence, and they're going to make it more challenging. But um, you know, they're 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 obviously one of the better teams in the West, and and you know, we'll continue to move forward. But I I think there was more for us to get out of tonight, and that's that's you know frustrating and disappointing. With, with a kind of a difficult month ahead here, yeah. you mentioned the the road trips and everything. I guess do you how do you kind of uh, use this win as motivation or what what is your message going forward about or this this game I should yeah. say going forward yeah um yeah it's a game you can't take you know and not that we do you, you, you take nothing for granted nothing you know lightly these these opponents this is a good opponent that we knew we, we got Salt Lake we got LAFC so every opponent is you know going to provide challenges and and first and foremost you have to be mentally physically ready for that and and you know the sharpness is important from the opening whistle and um, again, we typically start games really strong and in, in, in a good way. So that was, you know, a, a, certainly a, a step in the wrong direction for us. But we'll try to correct that quickly. And um, again, try to put together good performances on the road. On the road, have a have a good game plan and be really responsive about what we're trying to achieve. Josh, I remember um, from last season, uh, you made some comments about adjusting to the Texas heat. Um, you know, playing here too. Too, it was a hot one for especially for May tonight. Um, I mean, how do you feel like the guys have? have kind of grown, especially the ones that have been here since last year, maybe getting used to the Texas heat. Yeah, it's warm. I think it's going to be warm in a lot of places this year. I mean, it's, it's you know, we, we travel to a lot of different places. It's it's going to be hot in Texas. We're aware of it. We train here. We live here. Um, I, I think, you know, I don't think that played a role necessarily tonight. Again, our ability to push the tempo in the second half was, was strong. And um, we, we keep those those metrics um, right on our front doorstep. We, we look at that. We're aware of it, and uh, we'll you know continue to try to improve. But um, uh, it's you know it's just part of part of the league, part of our, you know, certainly our situation here in Texas. But um, you know I don't think I don't think that affected us tonight. Any other questions, for Josh? One more. Hi, Josh. This Hello. is Ricardo. Uh, can you hear me? I can hear you. Um, I just want to ask you. Oof. With everything that's been going on this season and with Cecilio's stuff, how do you feel and what are you doing to, to remain calm and remain 
saying? Because I know we, we go from where we, we're winning several games in a row, and right now we're, we're in a situation where, you know, it became a little divided between the fans. I just want to, like, I just want to see, like, how are you, how are you doing among, with everything that's going on? Me personally? Yes, sir. No, I mean, I, I feel good about what we've done in the first 10 games, and this, this group's very unified. It's, 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 it's a very connected, collective group, and um, I think that's been, that's been evident in the start of the season that we have. So we'll continue to, to improve. We need to continue to improve. Um, we're not a finished product, as most teams aren't at, at 10 games into the season. So um, we'll, we'll just, again, we'll review this. We have a process, but we will review it, and we'll start to prepare for the opponent. But, um, you know, I think, again, Again, it's been a, been a solid start, but we, we got to keep getting better. Thank you. Yeah, on that point, 10 games into the season, I think is a sort of an inflection point that, you know, certainly I was thinking about coming into the year. What, what would that look like yeah. 10 games in? For you, what have you – I guess just how much different does it feel 10 games into the season – the confidence, the togetherness, everything that you guys have accomplished to this point, um, I guess just what does it say about the belief that this group has, has in you as a coach and, and what you've been able to do? Yeah, I think, um, again, I'll, I'll still say that, that that belief and some of that execution I saw last year, it was a disappointing year in a lot of fronts, but I think we've carried over some of the, the good things from last year as well. We've learned from a lot of that. Um, we started this this season uh, with the addition of some new players, a little bit tactically, and how we set up and what we're trying to do. Just better understanding of what we're trying to achieve. So, again, I, I was very pleased with some of the things that happened in year one, and and obviously there was a big room for some adjustments as well. And that some of that was on the field, some of that was personnel. So, I think you know through ten games, I, I think there's there's a there's a solid feeling about what we've done. But you know, regardless of tonight's result, we we still have work to do. And um, you know, progressing as a group, um, both sides of the ball, and, and, and certainly on set pieces. So, uh, you know, pleased, but, you know, I think it's, you know, early in the season. It's 10 games, and, you know, I think that's, you know, it is a snapshot of what we, what we can be, and we've had more good moments than, than lesser moments, but um, we got to brush this off and get back to work. I mean, that's what this game is about. That's what this, this, this job is about, and um, our players understand that as well as our staff. All right, thank you, John. We'll good. Super. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Ruben, as well as y'all played, uh, how big a disappointment is this? You got national TV, chance to showcase this team, and uh, what do you think of y'all's performance? The, problem, the performance was not good enough today, but uh, we have showed that we are a good team, and we talked about it in the locker room that this is not good enough and we can do much more, much better, and uh, we're looking forward to the next game. Ruben, uh, coming off of four straight wins in the league, um, you know how do, how do you then reconcile a loss like this? Does do you, are you still you know 
working off of the confidence that you guys know how you've performed consistently recently, even though tonight was was not as good of a performance? Uh, yeah, yes, of course. We showed that we can win four in a row. If you lose one and you and you bounce back with four wins again, that's what we play on. So I think I don't think this will do something to us towards the next game. This is uh, this is football, and that's why we play it. We'll bounce back, and uh, this was a good for me. It was a good uh, how to say it reaction from the boys in the locker room now that uh, this was not acceptable. Uh, your first real um, experience in a match in, in Texas Heat, it was triple digits right before, at least Fahrenheit triple digits right before kickoff. How was it for you uh, playing 90 minutes? No, this was my second time and Houston was hot. That was something you I couldn't breathe there. So I was prepared this time and uh, I felt much better. So I will only get, it was tough, but I will get used to it. Just give a sense coming coming from Europe. Um, you know what 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 are you used to, and what how hot you know is the hottest you had played prior to coming here? Is this is this you know something different for you? Yeah, this is new. I don't know how hot it was, but this is this is new. And uh, uh, like I said, Houston has struggled badly, and uh, today was better. So I think I will adapt. Yeah, I mean, I know you guys haven't given up a lot of goals the last few games, but the last two were on transition moments, uh, you know, balls that maybe weren't cleared to where they should have been. Is that something that, that you know, a message that, that you're kind of helping deliver? Or like, how, how, do you feel like you guys need to be better in those moments at this point in the season? Yeah, like transition will come. That's because we have the ball a lot and we want to play. And that's that's a risk you take when you want to have the ball. We can kick it long every time, but that's not fun for us. And that's not fun for the fans. And that's not how we win games. So. It's football. You will get punished sometimes, and uh, that's what we did today. But of course, we can do much better. But uh, that transition is uh, is a part of the game. And how much did you feel the game changed after that goal? I mean, it was early in the match. You guys have, you are used to kind of getting on the front foot, foot at home, and it seemed like they kind of uh, were able to to be a little bit more compact. How did you feel the game changed after after they scored scored early? No, this you saw the reaction. We we got the ball and we start playing again. So. I think in DC that we did it the same there, so I don't think we just okay. Now we one nil down, and we we, can, we plan on coming back two one. That's what we were thinking. So of course I don't want to go one nil down. It's no, it's not my intention. But uh, that happened, but it doesn't affect us at all. Yeah, based on that um, DC comeback, do you do you have feel that you have a confidence that you can even deep into games when you're down uh, come back? I was sure we w was going to win this game. 100%. I show you, like, if we get one, we will score two. That was what I was thinking. I was that we lost this game is is, is bad, but I didn't. I really thought we we're gonna win it, really. And then um, for a lot of um, the players here, obviously it's their second year with Coach Wolf, um, and they talked a lot in the first year about just kind of the the learning about the the teaching that happens um, within the that kind of the cerebral aspects of the game. Can you talk about just kind of that and how that's been a change for you? Can you say the question again? My English is not that good. You used a word about that was just, way too big for me. How much, how, much, how much teaching does Wolf do? How much learning do you feel you have to do in, in his system? No, it's a, it's a lot of changes for me. It's uh, his way of playing football, but I really, really enjoy it. So every week is something new for me to get better on that the boys already know, but the squad is helping me a lot. So I think, uh, like I said before, I'm still adapting to this league and I'm still adapting to this team. And luckily I have a great team that's helped me a lot. Um, hi, Ruben. Uh, we, we, I noticed that Julio was on the floor. He was like frustrated. I don't know if he was crying. crying. Uh, you ask his partner, uh, do you talk to him? How was the feeling between you two? Oh, well, I love to play with Julio. I love to play with Kip and I love to play with Romania. This is a team. Like, I know that all of the three of those guys will help me get be, be better and they will sacrifice a lot for me. So it's like Julio know that as well. For, like, I will, I will do everything for Julio and... Um, I love to play with him, but also love love to play with other. This is a this is a group and not eleven people. This is how many players are we? Total? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's our that's our team. So <laughs> that's our team. So now, uh, but Hulu is a fantastic. I think he's the best defender in this league. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is, what do you guys talk after the uh, you know the game? But this was not good enough. I was not happy. He was not happy. He said some things to me like, "We need to step up." I need to step up. He said that to me, and I, I, I said yes. I agree with you, and I said the same. Like, let's let's go on to the next game. This is 
we can't lose at home. We are a better team and uh, we have high expectations for ourselves. Yeah, Ruben, I know you've been a captain at, at your previous clubs. I'm sure, I mean, I don't know this for a fact, but I'm sure you've dealt with players coming in and out, maybe under disciplinary scenarios. What is Cecilia going to have to show to you guys in the locker room, you know, if he comes back, um, that, that he's ready to be to be part of this group when you guys have, have you know, obviously had a, a really good stretch, develop some chemistry without him? No, we, we just continue playing football. That's all we do. Like, that's my job, to come here and play football and... and help my team win so that's what I'm focusing on that's that's what the captains do and I'm not the captain of this, this team that's Alex but I'm like all I can control is football right how to win games how to train good and not get distracted so uh, that's all that's my answer to that do you feel like that's been any kind of distraction for the group just you know the amount of conversation obviously you know I know some of the guys are on social media there's a lot of conversation happening with the fans you know is that something that's been talked about in the locker room is that something that's been a distraction at all nope we have no excuses today nothing if we we focus on playing football and uh, today was not good enough so that and I don't want to use that as an excuse so no we we were well prepared and we didn't we didn't win today we have 27, 27 players that's our team <laughs> I just have one question. Um, what is something you feel you you learned from today uh, in that loss after a uh, four winning streak? That we still have a, a lot of work to do. To When we're going to play the big names, we can't respect them too much. We have to accept that we are, uh, we have to believe that we are the best team. Like, I don't want to hear nothing. Somebody said, the galaxy. And I was pissed off about that. This is a, just another team. We are at home. We are the best team. So I think that's what we learned. That when we're going to play the big names, it doesn't matter at all. I think we should go go on that field and show them that we are the best team and we are the biggest team. That's the thing I will tell the tell the group. Thank you. Any other questions for Ruben? Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Ruben. Thank you. Uh,